Have you taken our kleptomania test? Welcome to Shave and Butcher. A pretty good shave today. Shaving with the Philharmonica 14, which I got in this nice original container. And this is the look of the razor. Pretty, pretty nice. There you go, Philharmonica. I, it's my thumb on it. But it's in pretty decent condition. You can see the gold etching. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Scales are in mint condition. So we got that dropped and the soap is this beautiful one that I should shave with more often. This is from Singari Man. It's a vegan base. It's called Coconut Nanas. Coconut, pineapple, peach. Beautiful stuff. And I have the recovery splash that is matching the brush is a is a German German shave Mac and this is 28 millimeter I got it I'm the third owner I know the previous two owners it's called Delta it was made for the against the grain um, group what was it I don't know it's a group somewhere uh, wearing uh, orange today. I didn't think about it, but I just, you know, it's for Max Verstappen. Who won yesterday as per, as per usual. Very nice pour of this soap. Heather at Singari Man does beautiful pours. Perhaps the best ones out there. Oh! Did you see the best one? Yeah, I did. I haven't tried every soap, but I, I like them. They are, they are very pretty. I can't think of any prettier pour or better pour, better looking pour. Can you, you know, once you're into the soap, once you're down in it, this, this marbled sort of texture or look, because it's not, but texture, texture. Um, it's really good. What do you like? What do you like in terms of pores? Wow, that's got to be plenty. Yeah, Heather makes some, some brilliant, brilliant soaps <clears throat> that I really enjoy. Good scents usually as well. Some are easy, like this one. This is just sweet and fruity, nothing complicated. Some are a bit more, uh, more complex. They are very nice as well. My favorite scent, perhaps, of all at the moment is Watchman. That's just phenomenal. A barbershop kind of kind of scent which is just just brilliant it's not a new soap it's just i got it not too long ago shaved with it forgot about it and every time i find it in my big drawer of soaps i'm very happy so that is good plenty of water this thing is running off my face and you can, you can, oh, it's way too much water. You can treat the soap in a very, very unpolite manner. And it still behaves, still gives you a good shave. Look at that. Are we nearly there? We are there. I should work it more. Yeah, okay, just a bit more. I don't need this. Really is dead easy. Thick as a, as thick as thin. Yeah, it's crazy hydrated, or at least I think so. Anyway, here we go. Lovely, let's go with that. The handle of this brush is quite short, which is a bit annoying. It's a, it's a brilliant knot. 
very very nice to work with but the handle is a bit on the short side so here we go this is uh, one inch basically a one inch extra hollow racer from from Spain and it is quite possibly my best racer one of the more expensive that's for sure but possibly the best that I've got and boom there you go I got a I cut myself a bit here yesterday so that's probably gonna bleed you will notice youtubers uh, say that so that um, you know it's a pimple <laughs> To have an excuse in case there's blood. But this one from yesterday was just poor, poor shaving. Poor shaving management. I don't use this razor every day. <clears throat> I keep it as a treat. Because that etching will wear a bit every time I use it. But I, I needed a treat. I mean, uh, I had a pretty shit day at work today. I'm not, not a happy camper when it comes to a thing or two. Happens. Tomorrow will be great, I'm sure. And then, uh, churning out some of your good stuff when it comes to shaving just is a good way to put you in a better mood, at least I think so. Is it bleeding yet? Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Hope it's not gonna be too much blood. I'll get a piece of tissue actually. That is okay. Doesn't hurt or anything. Trying to do a matty swipe so we're in we're in good shape. I was watching the Red Red Island Shaver earlier today. Um, he and he, Justin, and the rest of the Canadian Mafia show, which is a thing on Inst Instagram. A shaving show that I typically miss because it's in the middle of the night for me. And some, you know, sometimes I need to go to work. Um, so every other Thursday, maybe, if I'm wrong, I apologize. Anyway, they've been making a soap or planning, planning a soap with Hendrix, Hendrix Classics. Uh, sorry, apologies for, for the claret. And it finally came out. So, Justin was shaving with it today. Oh shit. Bit of focus. Did I get myself there? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, perhaps, yes, maybe, perhaps, no. What music group is that? Well, that's a trick one, 1986-ish. Not their most famous record, but the first one I got with them. And I'm, yeah, 86 something, some, somewhere around that. Oh, I gotta put that on. <laughs> it's got, got a few, uh, got a few good ones, that, that thing. Okay, 
So yeah, Lum the Mafioso, I think is the name of the soap. I don't know how I'm going to be able to get it. And it's a set with an alcohol splash, so it's not going to ship to Europe. I, I think. Justin is always quite particular about having the set, the, this, the soap and the splash. So if I ever get the, the mafioso, is it the mafioso? I think it's the mafioso. I need to get the set. There we go. Take a bit of tissue again, the clean one without too much blood on it to stretch the skin. But anyway, it sounded like, it sounded pretty good. And I understand the, the Hendrix Classic soap base is very good. Can you see how big the razor is? Warm. I'm sweating. It's, it's not crazy warm outside, but it's been a warmish day, <clears throat> and you know the heaviness that sort of comes before a thunderstorm is kind of in the air. Uh, it's just humid and nasty. Can you hear it sing? Wow. Why is it skipping? Focus. I'm not having <laughs> the perfect shave and it's not the equipment. I'm sweating. Now, sweating is bad when you shave. Because it messes up the, the lather, it really does. And thinking about it, I mean, obviously it messes up the moisture content, but sweat is quite salty and salty water is bad for leather. Okay, I'm gonna shave straight through that hole in my skin. Mommy, is that man trying to hurt himself? He's doing it on purpose. I don't know. I don't know. Mom, are you from are you from Scotland? Hey. Ay 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 ay. So it's Monday. Monday evening. Uh, it's a short week at work because rinsing because Friday is midsummer. Midsummer Eve and it's a, it's a big day, it's a big party day in Sweden and lots of the other Nordic countries, Finland, it's huge in Finland. Baltic states, at least Latvia, celebrate it in a big way. Maybe all of the Baltic states. Norway, right, Avind, if you're watching. Denmark, no. But they have something with Hans. Where am I? <laughs> Which is a different thing on a different day. I don't know what it is. You drive something round in a in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Maybe I dreamt this. Is <laughs> anyone Danish? Yeah, a pig. You drive around a pig in a wheelbarrow. No. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, 
to this node. Those gains are crazy. They're close to Scotland. Voila, very good. I did my best. I was struggling a bit there sometimes, you know. Things are a bit off. But the scent of this soap is just beautiful. It's like a soft, fruity, yeah. And the quality of this soap is I can't rate one super good soap from another, but this is... I actually don't know of, of a better soap. This vegan is brilliant. The Sego base from Zinger Man is miraculous, perhaps even better. That's, that's a tallow. Okay, recovery splash. Such a brilliant invention. It's somewhere between a an aftershave splash and a balm, but it does not have alcohol in it. And uh, it's rec for recovery. It takes your skin back to where it should be. And this smells so good. This smells like it doesn't have any alcohol, but it smells like the drink version of the soap, you know? And you get the cocoa as in, you know, coconut cocktails. Ah, ah, wonderful, marvelous. Oh, it, it's, it's so good, it's phenomenal. Thank you, Heather. Thank you all for watching, that's it. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weeks. If you are celebrating Midsummer on Friday, happy Midsummer in advance. Well, I might see you before that, you never know. But anyway, have a great week. At least a decent week. At least, you know, try and survive. It's a, it's a, it's a task. If you do better, then bravo. It's like a bonus. Set the bar low. No lower. No, even there you go. Yeah, then everything is a positive surprise. Enough jibber jabber. Nice to see you. I'll catch you next time and stay sharp.